Hello and welcome to this new Leathercraft Academy tutorial. Today I would like to show you four different ways to finish edges. I'm going to show you the folded edge, the rolled edge, and also the binded edge. And uh, finally, I am also going to show you the piping edge. And let's get started with the binded edge. Uh, for the binding, I am using a 16 mm leather stripe and I am tracing a line in the middle of it. I apply contact adhesive on the part I want to bind on top, bottom, but also on the edge. I'm also applying adhesive on the binding and then placing the edge of the leather on the line I've just traced and for both sides of the binding I'll form some pleats in the curve and using a scratch all I'm trying to make the pleats as even as possible and then gently tap them with a hammer. I forgot to mention it but I previously punched the binding on top and bottom so I'll get a really nice stitch on both sides. Let me now show you the folded technique. I'm tracing a line 7 mm from the edge and I'm going to skive all that really thin. You will really want to pay a lot of attention to your skiving on this technique so you'll get the best results. It is now time to apply adhesive where you want the leather to bond and to use the bond folder to evenly fold this edge onto the other part. And for the corners, you're gonna use a scratch hole trying to divide evenly the leather and form some pleats. Let me now show you the piping edge. For the piping I am using a 20mm stripe that I skive on both sides, really thin. And I am folding it like so. I could use a piece of rope in the middle if I want something a little bit rounded, but I decided to do it flat. For the piping to follow nicely the curve, I am doing some sort of V cut with my knife. I'm doing three or four, it'll depend on your curve. And I want the piping to be sticking out two millimeters, so I am tracing a line that I will use as a guide. The glue has dried, so let's now apply it as even as possible, always following the line I traced. If you don't trace a line, it will be a little bit difficult to do. And be very careful when you glue the back, because stitching on top and bottom should match.
let me now show you the world edge technique so I'm using a 16 mm stripe and I punched it 2 mm from the edge I will apply it with the other part grain side facing grain side and I am now stitching the two parts together and I will later fold the binding back using some adhesive and I will do a second stitching the second stitching is gonna hold the binding that is folded on the flesh side and I will do it as close as possible to the binding this technique together with the piping and the binding techniques are really nice to be used with contrasted color leathers so keep this in mind that's it for today thank you for watching this video please comment like and subscribe and you can also click the link below if you want to support our channel thank you so much and goodbye